The Kill Zones Hunt indicator is available for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From here, you can access this indicator on the TradingView site. Search and apply the indicator on TradingView. Add to favorites for quick access. To access this indicator on the TradingView website, we search for the name of the indicator in the indicator section and apply it to the chart by selecting it. For quicker and easier access to this indicator, you can add it to your favorites by enabling the Add to Favorite option. Once the indicator is applied to the chart, it starts drawing colored boxes to display the session ranges and kill zones for each area. For easier and more secure access to this indicator, add it to your indicators by activating the Add to Favorites option. Once the indicator is placed on the chart, it begins to draw colored boxes to show the session limits and kill zones of each range. Kill zone areas are time zones of each trading session that are known as the most volatile and most frequently traded time frames in each session, and traders can base their trading strategies on these kill zone areas. Traders shape strategies using three model systems, including hunting in the kill zone, breakout and pullback to the kill zone, and trading towards the kill zone. Initially in the kill zone, the range stabilizes post-session as prices consolidate, with the zones high and low fixed. If price hits these lines and reacts, it indicates a bottom. A breakout below suggests a strong reaction. In the first part, we have a stable area. Post-session, the range stays stable. If prices hit these lines and react, it the kill zone range, if the price reaches one of these lines in our session and reacts, we have hit the bottom. A breakout below signals a strong reaction. When price returns, we enter a trade. As kill zone time nears, if we break the low high in session, we enter a trade with breakout and pullback. Here, we enter a sell trade. We can enter a trade when it returns to the session and kill zone range. Another type of trade is the breakout and pullback to the kill zone as shown in this section. When the kill zone time approaches and stabilizes, breaking the low or high within session time allows a trade with a breakout and pullback to the kill zone. This can lead to a sell trade. Finally, trading in the kill zone's direction is our last example. In an uptrend, identify the order block range as a limit order. When the price returns, enter a trade. The order block is in this area. When the price returns and reacts to this order block, it moves upward. And finally, trading in the direction of the kill zone is our last example here. If we want to use this method, we have an uptrend here. And by identifying our order block range, we can consider it as a limit order. When the price returns to that range, we can enter a trade and our order block is in this area. And we see that the price upon returning to this range and reacting to this order block has moved upward. Show info, color change, alerts. In this section, we have options. The first option is to show or hide additional information. We can see details like the time and trading volume in the kill zone, which is displayed here. You can also change the color to your preference. The next section is for enabling or disabling alerts. When alerts are activated, traders will be notified when the price reaches the highest or lowest lines in the kill zone. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of the session. You can change its color to your preferred choice. The next section is for enabling or disabling alerts. When alerts are activated, traders will be notified when the price reaches the highest or lowest lines in the kill zone. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of the session. You can adjust the color and change the session time to your desired hour. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of the session. You can adjust the color and change the session time to your preferred hour. You can choose to show or hide the Asia kill zone and select its time settings. 
You can choose to hide the London session, choose color, and adjust time. You can also choose to hide the London kill zone, set your preferred time, and you can hide the New York morning session, adjust color, and set time. You can also set the New York morning kill zone. Finally, you can choose to hide the New York afternoon session, select your preferred color, change its time, and enable or disable the New York afternoon kill zone, adjusting the time in this section. We've reached the end of this indicator tutorial. Please share your feedback. You can choose to show or hide the New York afternoon session, select your preferred color, and change its time. You can also enable or disable the display of the New York afternoon kill zone and adjust the time in this section. Well, friends, we've reached the end of this indicator tutorial. I would love for you to share your comments and suggestions in the comments section. Share it.